geothermal power plant built by Ormat is about to be inaugurated, 15 kilometers north of Lake Taupo in the North Island of New Zealand. Prime Minister John Key and leader of Mighty River Power Company, who owns the plant, together with Tahara North No. 2 Trusts, will lead the inauguration ceremony. For the Maori landowners, this day marks a further success. GFM doesn't require the rain to come, it doesn't require the sun to shine, it doesn't require the wind to blow. It is a great natural resource buried deep in the earth uh, that we can use to power, in the case of this station, 80,000 households. Geothermal is a complex business. It is part science and part art. No two steam fields are exactly the same. The natures of the geothermal resources are different. The composition of the fluid is different. And the geological structure underground is different. The success of this project has been built on careful evaluation of the resource and its sustainability, its temperature, its chemistry, geological characteristics, along with a tailored plant delivery by Ormat through their binary cycle design utilising four 20 megawatt units, collectively the largest such units in the world, with four of those units the largest single development using that technology globally. We have a special relationship with Ormat, a company that is both a technology supplier to us and a competitor as a geothermal development, both here in New Zealand and offshore, but a company that has given significant impetus to geothermal internationally. The Ormat modular binary power system offers unique advantages to its customers. There is no need to construct all the units before the start of the plant's operation. It's possible this field could support uh, additional units, but if there was an opportunity for a small development, an additional module could easily be fit into the site, use the existing infrastructure. Modularity is also advantageous during financing of the project. The modular approach enables early generation and therefore revenue generation in parallel to completion of the investment in the construction. Natamariki Power Plant generated an income of $10 million prior to the completion of the plant. The plant in Mokai in New Zealand, also built by Ormat, started as a 50 megawatt power plant and within a few years doubled its capacity, exceeding 100 megawatt. Ormat modular system helps us a lot here in that as we've expanded, we've been able to adjust the plant to cope with the use of the high value steam. But then when we have these massive step changes like we have had between the low volume of steam at the start and the high volume at the end, we were able to benefit from that by having ORMAT provide us with more steam generating equipment. What makes this site unique and technically challenging is the presence of a shallow underground aquifer located between the surface and the deep high temperature reservoir that contains the fuel. That means we have to carefully manage and control the pressure of that high temperature reservoir within a very tight range. And the OMAT technology is a critical part of being able to manage that. Full reinjection of the geothermal fluid to the ground is another advantage provided by OMAT technology. We have a system that first of all reinjects all all the fluid so we don't exhaust the resource by losing all the water. And the second one is that uh, we can use also hot water and not only steam, which is an extra benefit to the system because once you drill the well, you have paid both for the heat in the steam and for the heat in the water. So if you use only part of it, to get the same size of plant, you have to drill more wells. Full reinjection of all the fluids is important, not only for preservation of the environment, but also for the sustainability of the resource. When we looked at this plant, um, we looked at both flash technology and OMAP binary technology. Had we used flash technology, we would have needed to import water. That has a upfront cost impact, and when we did the economics, the OMAP plant came out ahead of flash. We wanted a solution which was 100% reinjection of the fluids, and OMAT's technology does that. Ormat is a leader in geothermal technologies. 
Its combined power plants produce 1,600 megawatt, 600 of which are self-owned. The technical solution that Ormet has offered to the market is suitable for small or large projects. From the toy project, that is a two and a half megawatt power station, to 100 megawatt all binary Natamariki project. The power plant in Tehuka is one of 13 geothermal power plants built by Ormat in New Zealand. Its advanced technology has proved itself from the beginning of its operation 25 years ago. We're able to re-inject almost all of the fluid that's taken out of the, out of the ground. All of the water is condensed, it's, it's put back in with the, uh, with the rest of the water and we re-inject all of those liquids uh, back into the ground. The power plant at Wairaki was also built by Ormat. Its advanced technology enables contact energy to exploit unused geothermal potential. Ormat technology was successfully selected to utilize a wide range of resources from low temperature, such as the 127 degrees C Wairaki project, to a high temperature, like the approximately 300 degrees C Natamariki resource. 25 years of Ormat experience in introducing its technology in New Zealand provides customer testimonials, which the company so richly deserves. Ormat is different from other companies in that they're not just somebody who comes in, builds a plant, and then goes away. They actually have a long, um, standing relationship with their clients and uh, stay alongside their clients in order to ensure that, you know, um, uh, maintenance is uh, taken on board and they just don't disappear. I'd describe the Ormat team as tough. Well, that's how I saw them at the start. But as I got to know them better, they were, they were tough all the time, but they had good spirit and their their word was good. The business was straightforward and done in a uh, very clear way. They have been um, absolutely supportive in order to get this new technology on board and to get this new technology uh, accepted. Support from them, not just in their own equipment, in a range of other things because they're all around the world. For example, they helped me with insurance when the insurance company didn't really want to know us. And so we get an introduction to somebody that did understand geothermal and the insurance business and help us. So they're very wide in their relationship with us, which makes for a really good business between us. Every one of the geothermal fields we've, we've, we're involved with, all Matt's had some involvement with. So uh, they're an a very professional, and a geothermal leader. One of the things about Ormet's design and efficiency is that they don't take years in the making. It's usually all that preparation work of getting the resource consents, that usually takes the longest, but once from um, signing on the dotted line, if you like, to making power, you'll probably look at about two years. Ecology is a major factor in choosing the Ormat binary power system. Reinjection and the low profile of the plant structure meet the requirements of the authorities. They are very environmentally friendly, and I mean, you've just got to look at this plant here today and how it sits, it's um, even down to the, the colour tones of it and how it just fits in so well with the surrounding area. And there's no steam plume. I think um, geothermal power plants fit within forestry very, very well, and the trees do grow up and sort of mask the plants. Looking at this plant here, our mature trees are probably just as tall, if not taller, than the plants. The inauguration ceremony of the 100 megawatt Natamariki power plant will end soon. It will mark a victory for geothermal power and also for Ormat, the world leader in this field. For many years, geothermal was a sleeping giant, a bit of a secret, even here in New Zealand. And now, it's the envy of much of the world for the reliability it brings and its contribution in taking carbon out of the economy and out of the global environment. And I'd like to acknowledge uh, Dieter Baniki, the CEO of, uh, of Ormat, who has travelled all the way to be with us today. We are very proud of this power plant, which is the last that we have uh, completed. Proud because it is the biggest of its size, 100 megawatt all binary. 
and proud about the principles of its design. Look how clean it is. Look, look how environmentally friendly it is. That's the Oma technology. Thank you.